So say I'm an artist, and I've written a song, and recorded it. I want to get this record onto the market so that my listeners can hear it, and I can get paid for my work. This marketing and distribution effort is the music business, and we're going to look at how blockchain technology could offer a compelling new approach to the job. First, let's take a quick look at the current model of rights management and licensing, using the simple example of a single written and recorded by one artist. A recorded song consists of two parts, the song itself, the musical composition, and the recorded performance of that song in the form of the single or album it's on. On the composition, the artist needs someone to help enforce ownership and allowed usage of the song and to collect the related royalty payments due. So they have a publisher and representation by a performing rights society or a performing rights organization. On the recording side, the artist needs someone to help enforce ownership of the recorded work and its usage in the market and to collect the related licensing fees. So the artist has a relationship with a record label and a public performance licensing organization. When a store or streaming service want to offer this recording to its customers, it must negotiate a deal with the label for access to its catalog and pay accordingly. In the case of radio or streaming for retail spaces and cafes, public performance licensing fees must also be paid. The store must also pay for the performance of the composition, so they must exchange data and funds with the Performing Rights Society, who represents the artist. But there are several such organizations, and even well-intentioned stores often don't even know who to pay for plays of this recording. This has resulted infamously in thousands of unpaid streams to some artists and constant threats of legal action in the business. In a nutshell, what blockchain music projects are proposing is to replace many of the organizations and systems involved in the current model with one software system, or a few specialized ones, that is designed to securely manage file service, rights management, royalties, licensing fees, identity and payments automatically using code. Some combination of these components can be integrated by enterprising companies as platforms ready to serve the music to fans. The pivotal feature of this model is the smart contract, a piece of code added to the blockchain with the ability to perform tasks based on received events from the outside world. When I want to release a single, I capture it on the blockchain as a smart contract. This contract contains details of me, the artist, the audio file, which is the recording, rights types, availability info, and my wallet address for payments. When users come to the platform to buy or stream the single, a player purchase event is triggered and the smart contract pays me. In this model, the only thing standing between you as an artist and your adoring public is the cryptographically secure, decentralized, hacker-resistant platform, or at least that's the hope. <laughs>